Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce separable prefix verbs. There are two types of verb prefixes in German, separable and inseparable. Both types change the meaning of the original verb, although it is sometimes difficult to predict what the exact nature of this change will be. Let's take a look at the verb kommen, to come or arrive, to see this idea in action. Most separable prefixes are generally related to prepositions, so it is possible to guess the meaning of the new verb based on the original meaning of the preposition. With the verb mitkom, to accompany or to come along, one can see the date of preposition mit, meaning with, at the beginning of the verb. Roughly translated then, the new verb means to come with, which is very close to the dictionary definition to accompany. It is important to know that when pronouncing separable prefix verbs, the prefix will be stressed, mit kom. Inseparable prefixes are not related to prepositions and generally do not have a meaning that can be directly translated into English. For example, the prefix ent can indicate the act of removing something from an object, a conversion to an opposite condition, or the beginning of an action. It is difficult, therefore, to determine the meaning of entkommen, meaning to escape, by looking only at the prefix and the verb. One simply must memorize the definition. It is important to know that, when pronouncing inseparable prefix verbs, the root of the verb, and not the prefix, will be stressed, entkommen. Separable prefixes are so called because, when they are used in a sentence, the separable prefix will come at the end of the sentence or clause. Let's take a look at mitkom once again to clarify this point. In the sentence you see on the screen, ich komme heute Abend mit, I will come along this evening, the separable prefix has been removed from the verb stem and comes at the very end of the sentence. You will notice, however, that the conjugation of the verb stem has not been changed in the process. It still agrees with the first person singular personal pronoun ich, which is the subject of the sentence. If a verb with a separable prefix is used in a subordinate clause, then the verb stem will rejoin the prefix at the end of that clause. For example, Sie wissen, dass ich heute Abend mitkomme. They know that I will come along this evening. We will examine subordinate clauses in a later presentation. Even though the verb stem comes at the end of the clause, you will see that it still agrees with the first person singular personal pronoun ich, which is the subject of the clause. This changes, however, when another verb appears in the second position. For example, ich darf heute Abend mitkommen. I may come along this evening. In this case, the modal verb darf, meaning may, appears in the second position, which then kicks the verb stem in its infinitive form to the end of the sentence, where it rejoins the separable prefix. The topic of modal verbs, like subordinate clauses, is something we will cover in a later presentation. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.